This, folks, is Airshow on an iOS device. And this is Airshow on an Android device. I'm not going to lie to you, folks. This video is going to piss you off. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. Thanks for joining me once again. And if you haven't already noticed, I now have both an iOS and an Android device. And the screen recording experience on the two is like night and day. If you've been following my videos for any length of time, you will know the struggles of trying to record on an iOS device. So let me show you how it isn't a struggle on an Android device using exactly the same application, Airshow. Okay, the first thing that will make you really angry is just how easy it is to get Airshow on an Android device. All you need to do is go to the Google Play Store, which is the equivalent of the Apple App Store, do a search for Airshow, and lo and behold, there it is. Oh man, a freely available application on the Google Play Store. It's been there for about a year, and screen recorders in general have been available on Android since Android 5.0 Lollipop. So I install it and boom, it will put it straight onto my device. No worries about the certificate being revoked, I can use it from now on. Damn Apple and their revoke certificates! When you first load up Airshow, you will notice a very similar colour palette and design to the iOS version of the application, but as usual, Android has more settings straight out of the bat. Well, isn't that a surprise? First of all, you can set the video format to pretty much anything you want to make it more compatible with video editors and your style of video editing. Urge to kill rising. The next two settings are fairly similar to iOS users. You can set the orientation and you can set the resolution right up to 1080p, but the bottom one here is bitrate, which is basically video quality. The sharpness of the video and the colours, yep, you can up that right up to 16 megabits per second, but you can probably get away with 4, which is roughly where iOS screen recordings sit. Now, when you hit the record button for the first time, you're going to see some familiar things come up, just like iOS. Android needs to ask your permission to do certain things and in this case it wants access to storage to save the video, it wants access to the microphone which you do need to allow and as far as I'm aware uh, screen recorders on Android just like iOS can only record from the microphone, it can't record internal game sounds. Ha! You hear that Android? You can't record internal game sounds either. In your face! Ow, that really hurt. If anyone knows any differently, let me know of any applications in the Google Play Store that can do that. But as far as I'm aware, I think you need to root your Android device the same as jailbreaking on an iOS device. And it also asks for permissions on your camera. And we'll get back to that a little later. Right, everything is in place to do a screen recording. Let's tap that record button and see what actually happens. First of all, it will take you to the usual recording screen and give you a timer showing you how long your recording has been going on for. But the two buttons at the bottom are very interesting. First of all, this privacy button, when you tap it, a green shield appears here and it's flashing. And what this will do is on the recording, it will just blank out the screen with a privacy. This is in case you're putting in a password or something. So very useful for that. The next one is even more interesting. Tap that camera button and boom, you have a front facing camera. So now it's gonna record me and my reactions to my gaming, which is absolutely fantastic. And does iOS do that? Of course not. Yeah, well, Android, first cam this. <laughs> So a couple more things to note while I do a screen recording of Clash Royale. First of all, this face cam here, it's a floating window so I can drag it anywhere on the screen and put it where I want. So if it's in the way of a graphic, I can just move it out of the way, simple as that. Also, if you look at the screen, if I touch on it, you can see a white dot. So that's touch input, very useful for when you're doing tutorials, if you want to show people exactly uh, where you're touching on the screen. And that's not necessarily a screen recording feature. That is almost like a default Android system feature that you can get in the settings in the developer mode. So I'm going to do a quick uh, screen recording here of Clash Royale and uh, I'll just collect my chest here and then I'll get into a game and yeah this is pretty much screen recording on an Android device. Do you think it's better than iOS? You're probably reluctantly going to say yes. Anyway let's go on with the battle. My face cam is definitely in the way here so I'm going to put it down to the bottom corner and we'll get on with the game. Here we go. You are a flood of b scrags, 
Now, just to annoy you even further, Android has even more settings that I didn't even realize when I first did my screen recording. This settings line up here, the cog is pressable and it takes you into even more options such as changing the recording directory where you save your videos. You can turn on touch input just for screen recordings there. There's a video encoding engine. I don't know why you'd need to change that, but well, Android just includes the setting anyway. And there's other stuff here, whatever swap UV means. And unbelievably, that is just the tip of the iceberg. If you don't like Airshow, simply put in the search term screen recorder on Google Play and you will find hundreds, if not thousands and thousands and thousands of screen recorders. Airshow barely comes in the top 10 right down there. And some other screen recorders allow you to do things like uh, record at 60 frames a second. And there are other ones where you can even overlay stuff. For example, if you wanted to draw something on your screen while you were doing a screen recording, yeah, some of them even allow you to do that. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Game over. So, in summary, when it comes to screen recorders, it's not even a competition. Airshow on an Android device absolutely massacres Airshow on an iOS device. And Airshow on Android is by no means the best screen record on Android by a long distance. But it also raises another point. The developer's show can do face cam on Airshow on Android, but they can't do the same thing on iOS. Not because they're not capable, because it seems technically impossible on a non-jailbroken device. So, for the best screen recording experience bar internal game sounds, which neither Android nor iOS can do, the choice is clear. Choose Android. But I know for most of you, that's simply not an option, and you're stuck with one of these. Which is why I am not going anywhere. I'll be helping you to do iOS screen recording for the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, and indeed Android screen recording content, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. You are a flaming load of bacon, eggs, scrambled eggs, hash browns, bacon, strips of sausages, turkey breast, cheddar.